Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for October. So if your birthday falls in October, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Libra. So, or whenever your birthday, if you're a Libra, happy birthday. Happy birthday. So anyhow, what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? October. Now keep in mind this could happen at any time in October. When you watch it, it may not resonate. It may, but it may not. Take that into consideration. Not every reading is for you as well. This reading may or may not be for you. So what do we got? Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to have sex with this person. Okay? It says friendship. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So you may be, this could be a best friend. Okay? Scissors, disappointment in some affair. So there is some sort of disappointment in an affair. Maybe somebody's been cut. Dogs, getting together with friends. Interesting. So you have friends a couple times. So you're probably going to be getting together with a friend or deepening a bond with a friend. It's probably somebody... You know, that is the same sex as you. It doesn't mean that it's a sexual connection. And I really have to throw that out there and make it clear because people got a one-track mind. It says friendship. Friends. Friends. So you're going to be getting together with friends, deepening a bond, maybe getting a new best friend, you know, deepening a bond with friends, a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So maybe you got a new best friend or something like that. Friends are important. They are. What do we have for Libra? Whew increase in money so you're probably going to start to see an increase in money hopefully oh, there we go oh we could be dealing with a younger woman you may have a younger woman here that you're involved with there's a younger woman that obviously plays a part in your october Ooh, four 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 is uh, spiritual, universal guidance. Uh, it's an angel number. All is well. Listen to the signs. Pay attention to the signs. They're sending you signs at this time. Okay, there's signs from your angels, signs from the universe. This is universal protection, universal guidance, angel protection. Uh, 444 is also about foundations. So something about your foundation. All is well. All is well. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the table, but you have been ignoring your gut about a situation. You have been ignoring your gut. So you need to listen to your gut. 444. Four, four. All is well. The devil. Ooh, so the devil looks like we have an unhealthy bond here. We have a toxic bond. You may be tied to something that is very unhealthy. Um, this is chained. We have lust. We have greed. We have a need. You need to sever ties. You need to sever ties. There's temptation here. There's temptation. There's lust. There's, this is very unhealthy. We have somebody here that is in a state of despair. It looks like we have a feminine that is in a state of despair. Um, she's not getting any attention. She's dealing with somebody that's very cocky, very, very egotistical. This person has lured her, lured her in, and now she's trapped in the situation. She's, uh, it looks like the devil has won, right? The devil has won. You need to sever ties from something that is very, very, very unhealthy. It's going to take strength. 
It is going to take a lot of strength. We have despair here. Despair, regrets. Regrets. So I feel like I feel like uh, there's angels guidance here. Angels are are looking to assist you. I think that you need to ask them for help. I feel like you need to find a way to sever ties with an obsession. Whatever this obsession is. Ego is a big deal. If we have somebody here, and, and both people have ego. Both people have ego. Because if you didn't have ego, you'd be able to sever the ties with whatever this is. And the, the scissors are what severs ties. So yeah, there's an affair here that you need to cut. You need to sever the, like you need to cut the cords. You need to cut the chains, but you have to be willing to. You have to be wanting to. You have to come out of the mindset that you have to stay in this situation. Maybe you've been sold the fantasy. Maybe you've been sold. Because that's what the devil does. The devil soul sells illusion. For money? Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you need to get playful. I feel like you have an opportunity here. Obviously this card came out for a reason. There's some sort of angels around you. I just, I really feel strongly. It's like they're trying to assist you, but it feels like you, especially if you're the feminine watching this. Well, for, I'm going to go with the feminine and the masculine. Okay, we got a feminine here who is distraught okay she's distraught she's very very distraught she she has she can't find a way to break free she's waiting for her masculine to turn around and, and see who she is and rescue her this masculine is and if you're the masculine well hey hey what can i say this masculine is very cocky very very egotistical he's in control he's in his power he's not going to do a damn thing Okay, because he likes the position he's in. He doesn't care about her feelings. So whether you're the masculine or you're the feminine here, we, it feels to me like we have a masculine that is in his ego, really bigger than the feminine. Okay, I think the feminine is suffering because she can't break free. She can't break, she can break free, but her mindset, you know, she's so engrossed with the illusion, you know, the fantasy, the feeling, the temptation, the lust. She's mis. She's mistaken the lust for love. It's not love, it's lust. It's lust. But she's been sold the fantasy because it felt so good. So anyhow, we have somebody here that needs to find a way to break themselves free from a toxic situation, but it will take determination and it will take honesty. Okay, I got the Ace of Swords reversed and the Sun card upright. So the Sun card is happiness. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. It's a birth. This is being dishonest. It's not uh, accepting the truth. Not waking up. Refusing to accept the truth. Refusing to see the truth. You know, this is the sword that cuts. But the sword is down. If you want happiness, you this is about happiness. If you want happiness in your life, you have to cut. You have to sever the ties with somebody that is toxic. Okay? You do. It's just lust. What do we have for Libra? Allow your youthful spirit of fun to shine. You are going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted during this, uh, it's October. You're going to be tempted in October by something that is not healthy. It looks very attractive to you. Nine of Wands right in the middle. That is, that is challenged. 
That's your signifier card, your challenge. This is uh, on the verge, it's like growing weary, wounded, hurt. Um, facing a lot of life challenges right now. Not listening, not listening to your gut. You may have received some poor advice from somebody. This is poor counsel, somebody, it could be from a tarot reader or a psychic or somebody that has given you some poor advice or this is just a lack of intuition, a lack of awareness, high priestess reversed. I feel like uh, you have received some poor advice and you're having a hard time deciphering. Oh my goodness gracious. So anyhow, in your section, you, we have the Strength card, we have the King of Swords reversed, and the Three of Pentacles reversed. So not being logical. King of Swords reversed is not being logical, not using your head, uh, being too... Uh, hard it's stuck in your ways you're too stuck in your ways you need to be logical you need to be open-minded you need a new perspective i feel like you're in some sort of third party situation where things are not working out underneath it is a three of pentacles reverse that's not on the same page there's a lack of respect there's a need to control your emotions i the first card out is strength okay i think some of you may be trying to control things you're trying to master your emotions but that king of swords reversed is uh ruthless right it's ruthless it's abuse it's an abuse of power and the strength card is very powerful controlling so it's like somebody's trying and it's in your section so i think that you need to be very careful here with with trying to control a situation trying to uh i think this is control Strength is about control. The King of Swords reverse is about control. Three of Three of Pentacles. It's not working out. You can't force. You can't force something. It's like you're trying to force something, trying to force uh, somebody to see something in you. Whoever you're dealing with, we get the the Page of uh, Cups reverse, the Knight of Wands, and Temperance. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever you are dealing with is moving very fast in a new direction. This person is literally emotionally unavailable. They're, they, they've made up their mind. They are... They're running. They're running in a in, in a hurry. They're in a hurry. And I'm not saying they're running because of the fantasy that you have in your head. Okay, this person is going in a new direction. They're going very, very, very fast. This person is motivated. They're determined for something better. Whoever you're dealing with has made an exchange. It's like they've ended it. This comes after death. They've ended it. They've accepted that it's over. They they are going with the flow. They're waiting for something. They're not waiting. They're taking action because of that Knight of Wands. That's action oriented. This is somebody that takes risk, that doesn't really stay in one spot. You're dealing with somebody who um is always changing this person is always changing they don't stay they don't stay put for very long okay they, they're always on the move you're dealing with somebody that is always 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 on the move this is somebody that is very very brave i feel like they're brave they're courageous they're they they don't stick around this may be even somebody that's very obnoxious okay you could even be dealing with somebody that has some sort of addictions okay they and it could even be a sexual addiction who you're it's either drugs alcohol or sex i feel like you're dealing with somebody who has some sort of addiction could be, uh, you know, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a family member or if it's an ex or who it is, but there's some sort of abuse of power here. We have Capricorn, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Sagittarius a couple times, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, and uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, 
lack of awareness. A secret is about to be revealed. Something something that has been hidden is about to be revealed. You some if I didn't say Pisces, I can't remember. It may be a Pisces. I feel like somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. They've been trying to control a situation. And we may have somebody here that's trying to take justice into their own hands. You know, they're trying to force somebody to leave or they're trying to force a connection that's not going to work out it's not going to work out because forcing things will cause a complete ending complete 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 um a need to heal you need to heal you need to not give it any of your energy you need to not invest in a third party situation you need to take a step back. You need to protect yourself. You need to uh, allow things to evolve as they should. If something didn't work out, it didn't work out for a reason. The, the temperance card is a card of reason. It is a card of purpose. Everything changes. Everything changes. Your life is evolving. For some of you, there is somebody coming towards you. This is somebody that you you will be able to mingle with and can this person can help you to heal from whatever this loss is that has caused some sort of bitterness within you. There is bitterness here. There's anger. There's bitterness. There's cold. It's like gone cold. You know, I think that you may have turned cold. I do in, in this. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. It's either a Leo or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that has abused you. Could also be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's some sort of abuse here. Could even be a father figure. Or there's been a neglect. You know, there's been some sort of neglect. Um... Whoever you're dealing with is, uh, well, this is a rejection. It is a rejection. Page of Cups reverse. They maybe be, maybe they've rejected you because they don't have any staying power. You know, they don't, they don't have any desire to stay put. We have the Page of Cups reverse, which is the rejection. It's an unrequited love situation. Knight of Wands moving very, very fast in a new direction. This is somebody that does not stick around. They're always on the move. Very, very enthusiastic and determined for whatever it is that they want. They just, this person is fearless. This is a person that is always on the go very very it's almost boastful as well i feel like you have a boastful individual here that always seeks praise right they seek praise and they seek admiration and the minute they don't get it they're on the road again they're on the road again you know they're they're moving they're moving they're moving um I feel like you're you're facing some life challenges because you've held on to this for a long time. The, the Nine of Wands is the signifier card that is really expect that's challenging, extremely challenging. And I think it's because I think you've been communicating with somebody and you've been you've been waiting, you've been waiting for this person like to come to your rescue and to save you or whatever the case is, is to or to help you and this person isn't going to this person isn't going to. I feel like you need to own up to the truth, you know. Um, but this is not, no. High Priestess Reverse, that's lack of awareness. Poor counsel, receiving poor advice from somebody who's not very spiritual, you know. I don't know if somebody has told you to wait. They may have told you to wait for somebody. No, don't wait. That's not even logical. It's not. It's not logical to wait for somebody and try to force things based on fantasy. Anyhow, um, there is definitely illusion here. I feel like you need to get a pack in. You need to get moving. You need to go in a different direction. You need to um, probably be honest with yourself. We had the Ace of Swords reversed at the beginning, remember? We did have that. Um, I think it's time for you to go. I feel like you have something better. You have an opportunity to get together with somebody better. Um, better than what you had. But I think that you're blocking it. You're protecting yourself. You know, you're protecting yourself. Um, maybe you're protecting yourself because of abandonment. Because of previous abandonment. Because it didn't work out before. Um, 
you've been in, a, in, an, in an extremely controlled situation where maybe you've been controlling or, or restraining yourself, not being logical. Somebody has been restraining themselves. The first, you know, in your position, the first card is a strength card. That's restraint. It's holding back. It's it's holding back, but underneath it is the King of Swords reverse, which isn't logical. Okay, it's 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 it, there's an abuse of of power here, and it's not being logical. It isn't. It, this isn't working out. You need to. You need to. Why are you? Why are you trying to control something? Let go of the need to control. If it's not working out, it's not working out. Let go of your stance. Remove the barrier. Uh, Whatever ended, ended for a reason. You need to manage your feelings and accept and allow that it's time to go in a new direction. Anyhow. I mean, that temperance card is a massive change, right? This, It is. It is. I think that uh, you've evolved. Oh, tower fell right on top of the temperance card. Ooh, we got the ace of swords, death card reversed, and tower. It landed it it landed like this. So Ace of Swords is the truth. Okay, it's the raw truth. Communication, a wake up call, death reversed in the tower, profound life change, sudden change. <coughs> Evolution. massive change your life is about to change you're about this is a major disruption of a foundation truth is shed light being shed on the truth some sort of truth we saw that with the high priestess reverse truth being revealed or an epiphany or a major awakening this is a rude awakening a rude awakening we have somebody i don't know if there's like a death there could be there could be this there there could be that changes your life. It changes your life. It, there is a life-changing moment here where somebody is has left, and I feel like they've left spontaneously or they're leaving spontaneously, and it changes everything. Um, major, major change. Dismantling of a false sense of security. Destruction. Destruction. The truth. The truth being revealed. The end. The end of a false sense of security. Holding on is getting old. Seeing the truth. It's time. There, there could be a relocation here. There absolutely could be. Somebody could be moving. They could be moving to another place. There's tears. There's sadness with the page of cups reversed. I mean, there is. This is a bubble burst. It's a rejection. It's unrequited love. Somebody is leaving in a hurry. This is a sudden departure with the with the Knight of Wands. But it, it's all happening for a reason because it's part of your evolution. It is. Now, now it's time to heal. Profound healing is needed. There is with that temperance card. That it's time to heal and accept and allow and be patient. Be patient with yourself. Um... Be patient with your with your evolution, with this change that is happening. There's going to be a change. I think it's a change in a living situation or, the ch or a change in a relationship with that tower card. Or it could be an internal disruption. It could be a near-death experience that gives you a wake-up call. That Ace of Swords is a wake-up call. Death card is a near-death death experience. And the, the tower is a false sense of security that is crumbling, which is the foundation. So it, this has to do with a foundation that, you know, is very unstable that is built on false pretenses that needs to be rebuilt stronger okay um near death experience or it, i mean it could be it could be a death i mean i'm not sure but this is a wake up call of some sort that forces a life change this is a forced life change it is with death, this is starting with a clean slate, starting over from scratch. You're, I mean, I can't make it up. So there is somebody that is forced. They're being forced. I mean, this is a disaster. The 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 death card is reversed. Is it a disaster? And the tower is a disaster. But, but it leads to a beautiful new beginning because you 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 start over okay you start over from scratch you build a stronger foundation you build a new foundation okay
this is a truth. It's a new truth. It's the raw truth. There's some sort of truth that is coming out. I feel like it cuts. I feel like the truth cuts, whatever the truth is. I feel like there's going to be an incident. Something's going to happen really, 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 really fast. But it's all part of the change. It's all part of the evolution. It all happening for a purpose. It's sad though. It is sad. It's, it's severing ties. Severing ties from somebody that is unhealthy and toxic. And I feel like you haven't been opening up. You've been restraining yourself. You haven't been able to be playful. You haven't, because you've been restricting yourself, protecting yourself. It's time to rebuild. It's time to rebuild that foundation with somebody else. You, you're going to be communicating with somebody that you could evolve with. That is even better. That is even better from where you came from. But you have to open up. You have to open up. You have to be willing. You have to be willing to let go of the restriction. There's somebody, either you're, you're allowing somebody to restrict you. And it could just be your own mindset. I mean, we're talking about the King of Swords here, which is in the mind. You know, and I feel like you've been, you've been really restraining yourself. Open up. Allow yourself to mingle. Allow yourself to get to know other people. Holding on to the false sense of security has gotten old or it's getting old and it's time. It's time for you to have some fun. It's time for you to live again. It's time for your new life. It's, it is. Get together with these friends or this new friend or whoever it is. 